Hello everyone, my name is Matthew McKenna and welcome back to my channel. Today I feel like we're going to be reacting to a very important song and music video and that is This Is America by Childish Gambino. I would be very surprised if you haven't at least heard of This Is America by now. I've seen it in news headlines everywhere. It's popping up all over my social media feeds and from what I've heard it's a really, really, really important video. It has absolutely blown up. It's at like 110 million views in a week. This video is going to be a little bit different to my usual content because I know it's loaded with a lot of news references and also cultural references, so I'm gonna do my best to point them out as I go along. I'll probably miss a bunch, so if there's some that you know, chuck them down in the comments below, because I'm really, really keen to learn a lot. I'm assuming it's gonna change, but this is already more upbeat than I expected. Hold up, I'm just gonna Google something real quick. It really looks like Trayvon Martin's dad. It looks like the actor who played Trayvon Martin's dad has been confused online for Trayvon Martin's dad. <laughs> so they do, they do, they look, they do look quite a bit alike. I'm assuming that's intentional. So that's interesting. We just want the money. Money just for you. Oh damn, that's groovy though. I actually had no idea that Donald Glover was this ripped. My gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly unpack this because I'd actually seen like the left half of this shot in thumbnails and screenshots and news articles. I haven't seen the gun. I'm assuming he's gonna shoot this guy. And that's the guy that's representing Trayvon Martin's dad. So that's pretty heavy, but Looking at this, I now fully understand the context and it makes a lot of sense. That is a very, very close mimicry of Jim Crow. There's like a famous poster where he's in a very similar pose. And that poster is what a lot of minstrels were modeled off. Uh, the really offensive, terrible blackface actors. So we've like barely gotten into this and there's already two big references. I can see why there's so many analytic videos of this. No, uh, oh, I flinched, oh my God. This is America. This is America. I, I do want to point out the, the power and the sort of bluntness in a way of shooting a man with a sack over his head and then immediately saying, this is America. I think that really straight away says a statement. I just realized if you look at his face right now, he's got those really exaggerated facial expressions. He's got really like bulgy eyes and a big smile. And he did something similar that I caught, but it just seemed like a random thing. But if he's done it twice, then it's clearly intentional. There. He did another one. So that again is something that a lot of minstrels did. They kind of like made fun of a lot of facial features of the black community by really, really exaggerating them. And in some racist art, this is still in effect. People still mock people of color in this way. Look what I'm whipping up. They're just dragging that guy away. I'm noticing a couple of things. I'm just gonna go back again. My editor is gonna hate me for all these rewinds, but I didn't really know if I should comment on it at the time, but just after he shot the guy, he really like, look at that. He's like really carefully handing this gun back into a towel to this guy. Meanwhile, the gentleman who just got shot just gets dragged away. This is America. Got They've got like this whole kind of show going on in the foreground with all this crazy stuff going on in the background. At the moment, I'm not quite sure if I should be reading anything into that. I will keep it in the back of my mind. Yeah, yeah, this is gorilla. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get the bed. Yeah, yeah, or I'm gonna get Yeah, wow, there's a lot going on in the background. This is a really nice chorus. I like This is America. He said, This is America after gunning down a church choir. That's Gotta be a reference to the Charleston church shooting. Absolutely has to be. There's even 10. So that's a, that's another nod to a uh, to a shooting. First we had Trayvon Martin's dad, um, and now we have the Charleston church shooting. That's a very confronting way of uh, bringing that up. So the, again, there's the red towel. So th this gun is being like handled with care. That's a police car. Oh, there's like a, literally a riot going on in the background. Okay, that face solidified my thoughts on this. I've noticed that Childish Gambino keeps doing these like smile, happy dances and really grooving while all this crazy stuff is happening in the background. And what I take away from that is this sort of idea that I guess attention spans can be quite short. I mean, this has happened like what, 20 seconds after the Charleston church visualization and they're already onto these happy smiles and dances. So it kind of feels like these people in the foreground, including Gambino and his backup dancers, are sort of like this representation 
definition of distraction, I guess. People often get so outraged about something and then they just move on to the next thing and nothing gets done. I mean, you've still got people in Flint that haven't had clean water for like four years, but we as a whole just kind of tend to move on and forget very, very quickly. So that's, that, there might be something there. <laughs> I'm so fitted. There's a fire in the background there, right? Every time I like rewind and play something again, there's something else. Like again, I think that's the point. He's doing this really happy, exaggerated dance, but there's all this stuff going in the background. Hey, I'm so fitted. Someone just fell off, no, well not fell, they got pushed off the balcony. Huh? Okay. This is Sally. That's a tool. Yeah. On my Kodak. This is Selly, that's a tool. They're like recording on their phones, is that a reference? Or maybe it's because it looks like prison. Maybe that's like representative of a prison riot. And that's a tool, like, I guess like a prison cell is a tool that the government sort of uses to control people of color. I think that's what I'm taking out of it, so. I'm, I'm sure that a lot of this is intentionally open to interpretation, so. I can say conclusively with 100% certainty that that car is on fire. I was unsure about the other one. That one is definitely on fire, no doubt about it. Captain Obvious here, I'm sure you needed my help to tell that that was on fire, but it is on fire. That's a hooded person riding a horse. Maybe there's something else that I'm not getting from this, but uh, kind of looks eerily like one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. So considering the way that this video is set up, I'm gonna kind of assume that nothing is unintentional. They're gonna find you like pucker. I'm assuming they're talking about the police, right? Because the former line was contraband, contraband, contraband. And and look at these guys. As soon as they say, they're gonna find you like pucker. The terrified. I'm assuming it's it's like being terrified of the police sort of thing. Because I mean, at this point, if you're a person of color living in America, why wouldn't you be? So this is maybe a little bit of like cheating because I've heard about this specific scene. So I can't say that it's anything I've noticed, but this pause goes for 17 seconds. I, I've been specifically told that it's after he does this little pucker thingy. The music pauses for 17 seconds and that is a tribute to the 17 seconds of silence for the Parkland shooting victims. So I guess we're here. Childish Gambino is doing it. I'm gonna join him in a symbolic 17 seconds of silence. And straight back to the joyous chorus. These are all like really old cars. I don't know if I'm reading anything in there. I don't know what the meaning of that would be, but I just noticed that a lot of the time in, in, in like music videos, they've got like really flashy, crazy cars and you've got everyone in the focus. That's kind of like the exact reversal of that. You've got all these old cars and, and Donald Glover's way in the back and the camera's moving away from him. That's another thing that I'm gonna have to chalk up to not really knowing what to read into that, but it's just a fact that I've noticed. Hey man, is sprinting away now. Is he being chased? Oh, he is. It's a morbid end as well. I'm not sure if he's being chased or if they're running with him, like everyone's running. I couldn't tell you what the ending represents. I'm just gonna have to shrug and leave it to the comments. So that was um, very confronting, very real, and very artistic as well. It's really amazing to me how stories and messages can be shared through music and music videos and art. Like that's, I, I feel like that's really important and will resonate with a lot of people. And it's incredible to me the medium through which Childish Gambino has accomplished that. I'm very impressed and I'm extremely happy to see these issues being brought to light and to see so many people talking about it. Now that I've watched that and I kind of have an understanding of what it's about, I will probably need to watch it two or three or five or eight more times before I properly understand it. I'd also have to listen to a bunch of different analyses before I can unpack everything in that video because it was just so dense. And on a personal note, it brings me a lot of joy to see the entire world internationally talking about these issues and having them show up in headlines of every major publication or around the world. That's amazing to me and it is such an accomplishment. So massive hats off to you, Childish Gambino. And I think that's where I'm gonna end this today. Please let me know your thoughts. If there's something I missed that you know, please let me know. I'm dying to know. I wanna hear everyone's perspectives. I wanna hear what you took away from that video because there's so, so, so much in it. Let's get chatting because I wanna hear conversation in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.